I Am the End of the Words, People of the Fire, by W. Michael Gear and Kathleen O'Neill Gear. I put off doing this for a while. I probably finished this book two weeks ago, maybe longer. And I put, off, I put it off because I wanted to think about this book more. I wanted to not do a video immediately and just rip it apart because at the end of the day, I was disappointed by this. I was not, I was not satisfied with my read. I felt like nothing was solved. Um, a little background on the book. This was uh, published in, I should do my guessing game here. Uh, this is uh, 1991. Uh, this is the second in the series uh, about the prehistoric North American people. The first one being People of the Wolf, which I actually did really enjoy. Uh, I don't think I reviewed it on here. I, I think that was... I mean, it might have been the book I read before I started doing book reviews. But this one, it, it just was it wasn't up to par. Everything about this book was slow. Everything about this book was very just drug out and just it strung me along the whole time. It opens and my biggest issue with these books, the first one did it too, but it the first one actually, it toned it down as we went. This one, yes, it did the same, but it, it, it was 200 pages before I understood who the characters were. They introduce you to so many different characters and it's not like they're easy names to remember. You, you can't associate... Uh, they're not modern names. They're not named Bob and Jill and Pete. Because these are obviously all names people I know. Idiots. But they're names like Choke Cherry and uh, Fire Dancer and Little Dancer. Not Fire Dancer. Little Dancer turns into Fire Dancer. We'll get to that. Um, but they're all names that are also things that they're talking about. So there's a person named Choke Cherry, and they also go and collect Choke Cherry. So it, it, it's it's very confusing at times. Uh, maybe that's me. Maybe I wasn't invested enough in it to 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 go move around that and to see that differently. But that was a big deal for me. When it, if it takes me a hundred pages to understand who we're focusing on and who the characters are, there's something wrong. You need to reassess. You need to readjust. I blame the editor. I don't I don't even blame the authors for this. I blame the editor solely. Uh, but I, I don't know. Apparently these books are hits. I know people who love these authors. And I'm not saying it's poorly written. That's not it at all. Because it does tell the story. It does move you along. It does bring in a lot of... I don't know if it's made up or not. These people are archaeologists and like historians. So I imagine a lot of it isn't. But there's also things that I don't understand how they could know. Um, our main character... <sighs> for the most part, is a character named Little Dancer. His mother is killed by this tribe leader, to call, and his name's Heavy Beaver. I think it's Heavy Beaver. Something Beaver. No, who cares? Uh, but the this tribe leader who puts the curse on his mother is uh, kind of disobeying all the ancient laws and all the superstitions. Superstition is the wrong term. All the faith, all the spirit power that the tribes have always followed. He's disrespecting it. He's throwing it all out. And he's he's creating his own type of spirit power. Uh, he gains following. And it's kind of his his followers. The belief that he's teaching is to just tear down women. They shouldn't be eating on the same table as us. They shouldn't be hunting. They're not equal. Basically everything that is wrong with the world. This guy is trying to promote back then when that wasn't the case. Um... Eventually, you know, they, they deal with drought, they deal with uh, you know, the buffalo dying away, uh, and tribes split. There's also another tribe called the Red Hand who are trying or want to go with war with the heavy beaver. It's a it's kind of a convoluted story. Um, there's a lot of rapes involved. A young girl named what's her name? It's gonna kill me. Blood Bear's the bad guy. I'll tell you that. I want to say it's Tanager. I want to say it's Tanager. Is her name Tanager? It is Tanager. Uh, Tanager is captured and raped, and she escapes, killing these people uh, or killing a couple of her captives. Uh, eventually, she becomes uh, imbued with spirit power of her own, thanks to an old, uh, an old witch, if you will, of the spirit people. 
That's another thing about this. This might be the sequel, but there's very little connection between the first and this one. I also don't know how much time passed between the first and this one. They didn't really explain it. They didn't really dive into it. I still have two more in this series. I don't know. I, I, there's a good many books in this series. Um, I wonder if it has it in the front or in the back here. Yes, there's at least... 16 in the series, it looks like. I know I have two more. And it's going to be a while before I pick another one up. I, I didn't hate it all around. I didn't, I didn't despise it. I kind of enjoyed it as I was reading it, but as we got to the end, it just kind of it, it fizzled away. Uh, the people, the fire, there wasn't much fire in it. There, were, there, There's no fire in the pages. There's nothing to keep you there. Um, if you disagree with me, tell me why. What did I miss? I'm, I had to have missed something. This, the, people love these guys. I see nothing wrong with them. Uh, it's a different, it's, it's a differently, it's a different way, differently way. It's a different way to craft this story. It's a different way to put in the historical things that... That's my biggest issue, is that I don't know what's real. And I don't know how they... How, I don't know how some of the shit they think is real could have been real. I don't, I don't know where the line is drawn. Maybe that's my issue. I don't know where the historic meets the fiction. And I don't know where that line is. And I can't fucking stand straddling that line when I don't know what's real and what they might be making up or what they might know for a fact. I don't know. If they gave me an index, maybe give me an index. Let me know. But the book kind of ends very abruptly. Things are taken care of and sorted out, but it's drug along until that point and then cliff. You're, you're done. So all in all, I wouldn't recommend this book to somebody. If you wanted to try this series, read the first one. People of the Wolf, I think, is a far better story than this one. Um, if you read this and you'd enjoyed it or you think a different one's better or if I'm missing a point, let me know because I want to enjoy it. I like the idea of the the, the, the great North American people. I like that. That's a part of history. It's not really history. This isn't really history, is it? My confusion is the fucking problem here, I guess. And I try to keep my cursing to a minimum on these book reviews. And I don't know how it happened in this one, but it happened. Nothing could be done. It's over. And I rate this 5.5 out of 10. 5.5. People of Fire. W. Michael Gear and Kathleen O'Neill Gear. Second in the prehistoric North American people saga. That can't be the name of the saga. There's definitely a better name. Oh, the first, the first North American saga. Five and a half out of ten. Thank you for watching. I can't even get a good smile on this one. Eh, mediocre. Eh.